um, but today what we're our main focus is on is our meal plans and our uh, pre and post workout snacks. So you're gonna notice like the top paper is kind of blurry. Mm -hmm. so that, that's on purpose because I don't want you to follow this meal plan. I want oh, okay. when we come back on the second, I'm gonna give everybody that comes a meal plan. Um, but I do want you to look at the times. And is this something that you do for yourself? It's not doable. Yeah, that's kind of good. <laughs> so remember when you wake in the morning, within 15 minutes to a half hour waking up, that's when you need to replenish your body and eat something. So you shouldn't be waiting two, three hours to eat after you wake up. You have to fuel because you've been sleeping for eight hours, seven, eight hours. That's our goal for a healthy lifestyle. So we wake up seven o'clock and then you can see like 9.30, you're gonna have an AM snack. And then by 12 o'clock, one o'clock, you're gonna have lunch. And then 3.30, that's like the prime time for snacking and it's a trigger time for a lot of people. So that's gonna be, um, it's here, it's a pre-workout because that's saying, okay, maybe you're going to work out when you get out of work at five o'clock. So you wanna have a pre-workout about an hour before to a half hour before um, you work out. If, you're, if you don't have time to get a free workout in, you can eat like a piece of fruit 15 minutes before you go into your workout and that's perfect because fruit is like straight sugar and it's like super energy. It's like an energy drink for your body. So if you ate like a banana right before you go to work out, you're going to burn that off really quickly and it's going to give you fuel for your workout. Because think about it, if you're going to work out on an empty stomach, are you going to have a lot of energy? To do no, your workout? No, no, no. no, you're not. And Too much work. Exactly. And now you're messing up your metabolism and you're sluggish and it's not going to be good. So when you have a healthy lifestyle, you actually have to eat more. The more you work out, the more you have to eat. And then after you get done working out, you're going to eat again. We're not eating large amounts. It's just little amounts here and there throughout the day. We're grazing, if you will. So it's breakfast, snack, lunch, snack pre-workout, post-workout, and then you're going to go home and still have dinner. So, when you go home for dinner, now we're thinking, oh, we're not going to have like meat and potatoes, something heavy, you're going to have like a salad with like a protein, yeah. some chicken on it, or some fish and some meat, something light, but you still need to fuel your body so that you have energy when you're sleeping. Even when you're sleeping, you're using energy. Uh, and then when you wake up in the morning, it starts all over again but it's little amounts throughout the day. So when I come back on the second, um, I'm gonna show you the breakdown of a whole meal plan so you can see that. So we're doing like 30 grams of protein, we're doing 10 grams of fat, and about 15 grams of carbohydrates every time we eat. It keeps it very simple and straight across the board. Everybody's at like 1,800 calories. For you, you're a man and you're trying to build muscle so you can go a little up higher with that. So you could do like 40 grams of protein, you know, um, 15 grams of fat and uh, 20 grams of carbs. Well, we can hold them. No, each meal. Oh. You're, you're going to be almost up to about, you know, 2,800 calories. Just lying by the seat of your pants, you're doing good, but if you want to, like, stay on track and, and, and get it implanted in your mind, it's a good thing to have your own personal meal plan. It's a small investment for a lifetime because once you have your numbers, you're going to be like, okay, you're going to look at a nutrition facts and you're going to be like, oh my God, these are almost my numbers. Like a serving of cottage cheese, a half a cup has 11 grams of protein, six grams of carbs and five grams of fat. So if I'm trying to get to 30 grams of protein, how much more protein do I need to add to this cottage cheese to get to 30? So 30 minus 11 is what? How many grams? Hmm? 19 grams. So if I look at my protein powder, for example, let's see. One scoop of this is 34 grams. So all I have to do is take a little less than half of a scoop and add it to this, and now I just bumped up my protein. I got to 30 grams. If I want to add more fat to it, because we can, because we get 10 grams of fat and there's only five in this and I want to add more, I go to my peanut butter here and I know this is a fat. Two tablespoons is 16. So if I just do one tablespoon and add it to this, I got to my fat. Perfect. So you get the protein, you get the fat, now I want to add some carbohydrates to it because I can boost this up a little bit too. I get six more grams, so maybe I'm going to add a little bit of banana to this. Because believe it or not, a banana has like 25 grams of carbohydrates in it. It packs a punch. And we don't need all that carb. We just need a little bit. So we add that to this. There's our snack. Perfect. We put it in a blender. We can drink it up real quick. Get it down when nobody's looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Does it make sense? Yes. When you think about your numbers that way and you start to look at nutrition facts, it's a little bit of work, but it goes a long way. And it, you, it becomes so second nature to you, even when like a piece of chicken, a piece of, a four ounce piece of chicken, right there, 20 grams of protein, awesome, right? And then um, you get like two cups of salad here, which just has the nutrition facts on it. Off the top of my head, I want to like say two cups of salad has like 15 grams of carbohydrates in it. So right there, you make your number with the carbs and a piece of chicken. And then you get to add fat to it. So add a little bit of olive oil and balsamic vinegar. There's your perfect, your perfect meal. You met your numbers. You're done. And you write it down, and now you can just look in your little book and say, ooh, this is perfect. I'll take this recipe and that recipe, and you're done. Easy breezy at the grocery store, because now you already got your shopping list done. You know, but the more you can fuel your body, the, the perfect it is. And we want to go for whole nutrients. And we're even going to put some chocolate in it because chocolate can meet our numbers. So it's not the kind of it's when you're thinking about a food, you want to think about the numbers. But if you're going to fast food, honestly, it's not even real food. There's no nutrients in that food. Like you're just wasting your money with it. So it's better off just going to the grocery store and preparing your own stuff if that's the next step you need to do in your healthy lifestyle. So did anybody put that in their negative circle? Everybody got rid of fast food a long time ago, but was it one of them? Once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Once in a while. So if we go around the table and say, what did we put in our negative circle? I don't remember now. You don't remember? <laughs> <laughs> so, you wrote a lot of them down. Yeah, I just, I just burned out all my brains out That's of funny. Does anybody remember what they put in the negative circle? I mostly put, I put mostly junk food. Junk food. Mostly junk food. Put carbs. Like the unhealthy carbs. Because sometimes I have high carbs. Yeah. Yeah. And I have all the time. So I don't have to remember. What did we put in our positive circle? Yeah. 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 And mindfulness, everybody's taking that one away from me. Yeah. That was yours, your mindfulness. Um, can I share what yours was? She um, said to me that it, her past was she needed to um, stop thinking about what she could look like or what she thought she should look like and start focusing on, on the now and how she's feeling now instead of thinking about, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Having that kind of mindset to be like, okay, I'm going to look like this at this time. In six months, I'm going to look like this. And, you know, so I have to get rid of that because six months could go by and not even close to that. And then there goes the whole goal. Yeah. Rather than, like, let the goal be, I'm going to eat healthy today and I'm going to exercise today. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, I'm going to eat healthy today. And the next day, that's it. Yeah. Yes. Make it day by day. I love yeah. that one. Um, I found, um, I'm a severe trachoholic, um, I found I'm on a um, keto diet, yeah. and I found ways that every day I can have a little bit and it's legal and it fits in and I'm not overdoing it, and because it's the healthy chocolate and I'm not adding sugars, I don't have that craving like if I was an alcoholic and I had one shot, I'd have to have the bottle. But I found that I, I can still love chocolate and I can still enjoy it, and I do, that's like my whole day, if I don't have anything enjoyable, I'm like, oh yeah, tonight I can have the, you know, yeah. and it gets me through almost hell. And then I thought, it doesn't mean I can't enjoy things similar, so I bought myself for a few dollars. Oh. I have my chocolate bunny, and it's scented, <laughs> it's scented smell, it's scented, you can let anybody, it's scented with a scent of chocolate, and it was $2.50 at Creative mm -hmm. Auction, and it will never, exactly. I won't ever have, on Robeson Street. <gasps> I mean, they had a basket set up and they had all the Easter things and that was in the little bit. It was like me. I thought it was a real bunny. The universe because, sent that to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. from here. Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. 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 So cool. And I just want to steal when I've lost 20 pounds. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. I have not been out of ketosis yet either. And I have had days that I had, um, you know, it's mostly if I binge, it's going to be something chocolate. And at Valentine's Day, I got stuck at my um, daughter's with my grandson, and I didn't mind, but he gave me a chocolate for Valentine's Day, and it was too late to, and so all I thought of the whole three days there was, oh my God, that chocolate, and I, 
they had no food they liked to eat, so it wasn't really that interesting. As soon as I got home that night, I ate that chocolate, and the next day, though, because I've been so almost perfect, um, I was still in ketosis, the low end, but I haven't been out of it yet. I feel so different, so much better. Um, my clothes fit better. I'm warmer. I was always, always cold. Um, and up until August, I'm wearing hats, gloves, scarves. So it's heating up. Um, I think yeah, the ketosis is the best thing. Cold. I yeah. am. Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely in. So I get a lot more to burn. It's going to take me a few years, but yeah. I've never been so happy or excited for any certain way to. That's why I like love to do meal plans because it's tailored to you. So if there's a food that you absolutely love, like that chocolate, like don't give it up. We want to find a way that it fits into your meal plan. You you, you want to eat it in a healthy way, yeah. not to give it up completely because that's not healthy. If it's something you really enjoy, then you need to have it because it's in your life for a reason, you know. So we want to have it in modification and fit it into the plan in the right amount. Yeah. Such a good story. Anybody else? Let's I try. just have a, a question. I'm looking at this. Why only egg whites now that they think like the egg yolk is not really um, bad for your flesh? Well, here's the thing. You get a certain amount of fat in your numbers. So are you going to use all your fat in the egg yolks or do you want to use your fat in something else? That's the only thing. Because when you eat just egg whites, it's just pure protein. Um, but if you, I love egg yolks. So I'm going to use my fat for the egg yolks, you know. Um, and I think one, one egg has like seven grams of fat in it. Um, so right there, two eggs, you're at your fat. So it's just up to you how you want to use your fat. So you, perfect, do you want to use your fat with bacon? Or are you going to use your fat with olive oil? So you just kind of balance it out that way. You don't want to have two fats in there now you're going over your numbers. You want to stay in there. So just kind of think about it that way. So like you got your fat with your coconut oil. So am I going to use that for fat? Or am I, a lot of people think protein is peanuts and um, nuts, but it's not. He's looking. Um, for, for nuts, it's fat. When we think nuts, we think fat. Don't think protein. There's not a lot of protein in this. There's like 9 grams, and we're trying to get to 30. I mean, it but gives us all some. Thing that's like almond. Still fat. It's still oh. fat. No matter if it's crushed or not, you think of it as a fat and not a protein. When you think mm -hmm. of a protein, you're going to think of like chicken and steak. Um, you're going to think of eggs. You're going to think of your protein powder. Tofu if you're a vegetarian. Things like uh, cottage cheese, oh, all your cheeses have protein in them and a little bit of fat as well, but the higher ratio is protein. And this one, the higher ratio is fat. So you got your fat here and your fat here, so it's like how do you want to use them. And when we make our smoothies, we're going to um, see that. So does that make sense? Yeah. The egg whites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't it great you get to eat egg yolks and bacon and yeah. healthy fat and yeah. there's no link? It's the best thing ever. It's starting to spread. <laughs> Okay, so let, let's look at our recipes and decide. The only one we're not going to make is the apple nut or smoothie. I already made that for you guys. I made the parfait. Do you remember when we did the mashup? All I did was turn it into a smoothie for you so you could have it in a different way. So which one do you want to make first? The vanilla pumpkin shake, the sip of morning meditation, or the raw green smoothie? Pumpkin. Pumpkin? pumpkin. Yeah. All right. So it's basically cacao is just um, chocolate in the raw, it doesn't have sugar added to it. It has that sugar taste to it, but it's not like super sweet. So I couldn't find nibs at Stop and Shop, but I did find... Um, yeah, you can get it, I think, oh no, I said joy for it. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the help Whole Foods has it, but who wants to drive all the way up to Providence? So at Stop and Shop, they had um, the organic, I think it's 40% cacao chips. Not bad. So we're going to take those and I'm going to put them in here. And we just want to crush them up a little bit because we, if we put them in the blender, it's not going to work. So this is where our pumpkin's going to come in handy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to do that with the cacao chips? No, your nibs are already. Then, then, that, then nibs, so they're a little tiny. Yeah, this is already. Yep. Perfect. Are you doing it because this? Yeah, I'm going to have you guys sit. This is what we use the pumpkin for the first thing. And smash this for me. Turn them into nibs. You got chips. And this is a perfect frustration. <laughs> when you get tired, I'm going to pass it down to the next person. Roll it Yeah, can you roll? Look, an extra workout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got extra energy. Yes. A lot of sugar. Well, I don't do anything sugar-free. 
yeah. rather get the natural cacao wow. because the sugar-free is artificial. Oh, okay. Anything that says sugar-free or fat-free, uh -uh. out of the out of your lifestyle. That's perfect. That's gonna be just fine. Yeah, definitely. You know what it is? Well, when we put it in the smoothie, the next one we'll just mold it into the cottage cheese so it binds it. So when it goes in the blender, it will. Okay, so we're gonna. If you look in your um, packets, the first one is the vanilla um, pumpkin shake. So if you want like a little bit of a pumpkin pie, you would take keep out take out half of the pumpkin. So do like an eighth of a cup, and then do like a tablespoon of granola on top of it, so you have that crunch to it. You know, because you don't want to add more granola because you already have the pumpkin carb. So we don't want to go over our number. So cut the carb and then add a different carb on top. You want a spoon? You like it? <laughs> Yeah. If you wanted to make this less thick, what could you add to it without adding water? Water. water. Yep. Water is our universal ingredient. Or more rice. More rice. Makes it cooler. You add more rice to make it a little more thick. Oh, that's all. If you want to add, make it colder, more <laughs> ice. If you want to make it thinner, water. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll get a spoon. Pass the spoon. Okay, what's next? We got the sip of morning meditation or the raw green. Which one? Raw green. Raw yeah. green. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna freeze my banana. You can if you'd like. And how much? We got half of a cup. Half a cup of this. So if you need half a cup's got a half a banana, a medium sized banana. So we're gonna double it. And my dog's not that easy. Here we go. I filled up the cup halfway already. All right, what's next? <laughs> Uh, I cut the frozen pineapple from the soft and chocolate. If you want to do the frozen fruit is so expensive. Really? This was like on sale. It was the same price as the whole time. Yeah, that's when I wanted to And I didn't have to deal with the drama of cutting the pineapple. I'll get the fresh, like strawberries, and then cut them up and put them in the freezer. Yeah. yeah. yeah they have the same nutritional value on um, frozen and fresh. So. Wash them up frozen. And what do we got? Half a cup. So I'm going to squish this down already with the cup of spinach. So spinach, if you have like fussy kids at home or uh, grandkids at home, uh, the perfect way to slip fruits and vegetables in their food is to puree it and hide it inside of things. Spinach is like the perfect thing. You'd be like, oh, we're having green eggs today. And you take your spinach puree and you mix it in with your scrambled eggs and now you just made green eggs. Or you're like, oh, we're going to have green um, drink today and you mix it in with that. Tomato sauce, you can hide everything in there, like sweet potato, butternut squash, puree it up, hide it in the tomato sauce, they'll never even know. Or if you have a fussy husband or wife at home, sneak it right in. All right, so we got our salad mix. So we're gonna take the green ones. I'm even gonna put lettuce in there. How about that? We're gonna be fancy. Mm. I don't want to use the red leaf though, that's kind of bitter, so. You're always like, oh, I never eat my salad in time, right? You don't want it to go bad. Did you work as a chef? Yes, I went to Johnson & Wales. I worked at a lot of catering companies. That was one of my bad influences. I had to leave that job because it was like long hours and all kinds of unhealthy food. And you don't really have time to like sit down and eat, so you're like you're just stuffing anything in your face. That was like the heaviest I've ever been. So I like had to take a deep breath and like reevaluate my life and walk away from that job. It's the scariest thing, but it was worth it for sure. You know in your gut when something's not right for you, mm -hmm. and you're just like sometimes you fight it and you shouldn't because it just you know bubbles up in there. What's next? Coconut oil. Water. Water. Now water. Yeah. <coughs> and then we got coconut oil, right? And half a tablespoon. So. So I'm also it has the labels we love on it, non-GMO, so that means the coconuts don't have any, um, the seeds yeah, of the coconut. It doesn't have any 
pesticide, antibiotics, hasn't been messed with, nothing, and it's organic. It hasn't been um, grown with any antibiotics or pesticides on it. And it was on sale for six dollars at Stop and Shop. I was like, buying two of those. <laughs> And I put some in a separate um, Tupperware bag. I can use it for lotion. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It works great for like my pants or something. Coconut oil is amazing. Okay, after coconut oil, what's next? After protein, vanilla protein. But it's still some protein foods, especially if you blend it and combine. And then add the. Ah! I don't think you're going to be able to get all that. Listen. You're a full cup of uh, protein in the effort. You'd be surprised what this little blender can do when you can get it on there. There it goes! Okay, now we're going to add the protein powder. I don't think I have the one that I have. I have the pots of pulse from it. Oh, okay. It doesn't have all options. I'm adding ice to this because the banana wasn't frozen. Pack as much in there as you can. Yeah, I have that. I have that. That's good for a 
if you want the pita butter essence, but you want to say use coconut oil instead. Oh, like you okay. don't want the fat from the peanut. Yeah. I mean, you know. Oh, okay. But if you're gonna put peanut butter in it, why yeah. not just get the natural? I yeah. want yeah. yeah. hydrate I've seen it, and I heard about it, so I said I'm gonna try. Because yeah. I hear things that I I get the stuff to try it. And then sometimes I don't try it and then like I don't use it anymore. Right it sits there and then I end up. Yeah, now out. you can use it. You can put it in your um your if you're gonna make this sip of morning meditation, do the powder, but then you're gonna have to add your avocado oil. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and I have flaxseed oil too, but yeah. Don't put I, the peanut butter in this first. Oh yeah, put flax do flaxseed oil. The flaxseed oil has to be in the refrigerator mm -hmm. once it's well the, the, avo the avo avocado I think once it's open it goes in the refrigerator. Well oh, I keep mine out when it's fine. Yeah. yeah. And when I used it one time, it's kind of got, kind of like, I don't know how to say it. Like, you know when something's solid in it and it doesn't melt? Mm. It was something like that. Yeah. It was kind of something That happens like with this. Like I think I put it in hot. a long time or something. Yeah. Because this at room temperature, it's going to start melting. It gets like 80 degrees. It's going to be a liquid. Right. You know, yeah. that's just what it is. You bring it to the beach. This has a natural sunscreen in it, too. Yeah. I have yeah. my yeah. sunscreen with that. See? <laughs> with uh, A&D lotion that we put on baby farms. That's got the zinc in it. So you mix that with the coconut oil. Give it a nice thing. Well, I, mean, I don't really burn skin, but, but <laughs> I put it on my mm -hmm. shoulders and a little bit on my face, and I put it on my sons. And last year, there was no sunscreen. That's great. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm not going to put the peanut butter in here first. It's going to stick to the bottom, and it's not going to be cute. So um, what do we got next? The banana. The banana. The banana. The banana. And then what? Oh, our little carrot nibs. Which we're going to mix with the cottage cheese. And how much cottage cheese? But there's cottage cheese in this? No, there's cottage cheese in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not milk. Oh, sorry. Oh, Wrong one. You could add cottage cheese instead of milk if you wanted. Okay, yeah. milk. How much milk? A whole Four cup. So I guess we're just going to take a chance and put these in here. Mm -hmm. So if you were saying like you could switch the whole milk and use some kind of cheese, yeah, or you could absolutely. use Greek yogurt or something like uh, that. Oh, well, Greek yogurt has a lot of carbohydrates oh. in it. Yogurt is like packed with carbohydrates. If you're going to eat a yogurt, oh my god, eat half of the yogurt. There's like 30 grams of carbs in one yogurt. Sometimes it's like 22. That's way high. That's like double our number. So cut it in half. I add um, peanut butter to it, and I'll add protein powder to it, and then I'll add like some strawberries to it. And eat it like, and then you got so a yogurt costs a dollar. You eat it twice, fifty cents each snack. You're saving money on this meal plan. <laughs> Eating healthy is not expensive, and per and it's a little snack. So you go to the restroom, and you're like, done. Two scoops, it's in. You swallow it, you're done. Nobody even saw it. They were like, why do you still like peanut butter? So it's my new cologne. Yeah. <laughs> Is it four ounces? One fourth cup. 
Can you use the protein powder as a thickener if you make a soup or a stew, or does it not mix well? It doesn't. With that one, you'd want to use like um like a hemp protein or a vegetable protein because if you're gonna use it, it's gonna taste a little weird. Unless you're doing like a fruit soup, like a strawberry soup or a blueberry cold soup, perfect. Yeah, and then you would just whisk it in really. That sounds good. Like yeah, cold soup. Yeah, strawberry cold soup. Yeah. So I would like make the soup puree it all up. And then I would just take a little bit from the big batch and like mix it with the protein first so it doesn't coagulate and then put it in with the cold soup. If you're going to do like a hot soup, like a kale soup, then you can get like a veggie protein and you can whisk it in with the um, the, ve the veggie stock. I use stock. like those Idaho potatoes, instant potatoes. They come in the little envelopes and they mix it real easy in soups to thicken them. Instant potato? Yeah. Not good. <laughs> I think it's better than flour. I don't know. Um, I mean, I would do and like I mean, an almond flour. And I only put it a little to thicken. You only put yeah, do like an almond, like a roux kind of thing. I would, instead, of, if you don't want to use white flour or wheat flour, I would do like an almond flour. That's awesome. Um, they have like quinoa flour that you can use. Those are better alternatives than like dehydrated um man-made potatoes. You know. But that's such an old school sweetener. I like grew up on that uh, thickener. I grew up on those instant potatoes. My mom puts it in her butternut squash for Thanksgiving. It's like <laughs> I'm gonna put some ice in here. That's it. We got everything right. Did you put the peanut butter? You didn't put the peanut butter. I did put oh, the peanut butter. That's oh, the peanut butter. Yeah, last. put it in last, right on top of the ice. Okay. Yeah, a little peanut butter. Squish it in there so it doesn't stick to the blades. That's a technical term. Squoosh. <laughs> Get a little bit more. See all that good oil right on top? Yeah. We love fat. Fat Don't loves up. I love that good fat in there. Oh, okay. I dug down yeah. and went, yeah, you can stir it. Yeah, I know, because when I use it, I use it a lot to. Yeah. It makes a mess if you don't. So remember, one piece of Ezekiel bread is 15 carbs, so that's your That's all I have is one. That's all I have is one. But then you added the peanut butter, and now the peanut butter has six carbs. So half the Ezekiel bread, two tablespoons of peanut butter. I don't even think I need And then some eggs. You don't? You just one? I just get a knife and just smear it. I don't even think there's a tablespoon on there. Just one tablespoon maybe. You can do that. Oh my god, hold on. My like, man is so slippery. So all I can picture is this like open. Look, there it goes. Guys, the last one, it won't work. I miss the Becky and I'll taste this, it. This is this. <laughs> mm, I'm going to try that one. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not getting any burger and chocolate. I'll drink it. No, they're all stuck in the bottom. Me too. They're very good. Look at the okay, I'm going to come around and give everybody a scoop and then drinky. Unless you drink it all. <laughs> I'm giving you that. <laughs> I found that I, I don't spend more money. Very good. Yeah, I mean, very good. Everybody. I would have never thought reading because I would have never thought they taste so good. Okay. So which one is the best, you think? Yeah, the top one is good. 
You like the pumpkin? I like the best. Yeah. This one's best. Between the pumpkin and this one. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, I'll see you in two weeks for another 15 minute demonstration downstairs, and then I'll see you on the second for our uh, Easter. Happy Easter! Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.